Autonomous car technologies have been earning an expanding concentration in recent years. The implementation of these new systems is still being discussed in the sense of safety, insurance, and maintenance. Therefore, increasing the accuracy of autonomous cars is the key concern of the industry. There are distinct sensors used in autonomous car industry, these are, cameras, radar, and lidar. The beauty of using cameras is that we can apply image processing to RGB images and further obtain depth and semantic segmentation images. Depth image is composed of the gray pixels defined by values from 0 to 255. In depth map, each depth pixel will define the position in z-axis where its corresponding 2D pixel will be located. In autonomous driving, depth image is used to understand the distance to other objects in the scene. Semantic segmentation is an image processing step in which we try to separate elements of an image and define the boundaries of individual entities. This process clusters the image on pixel level and assigns one of the predefined classes to each pixel. It identifies vehicles, pedestrians, lanes, and drivable ground. Our main aim is to compare the driving accuracy of two training models. First model trained with only RGB images as input whereas the second model trained with semantic segmentation and depth images in addition to RGB. We place two RGB camera sensor at the above of the windshield as it can be seen in figure. So, with a referenced metric, we compared the driving accuracies and observed the impact of adding semantic segmentation and depth. Color simulation is opened as you can see in right side. On the upper left side, the codes that we used for testing is shown. The command line at upper right side is for spawning pedestrians and vehicles randomly. Now, we are visualizing our first model that takes only RGB images as input. Our vehicle self-drives with respect to the control predictions which are shown in the command window. These predictions are the live outputs coming from the network. In the left side, the number of collisions and lane invasions are counted for driving evaluation. Here is the model fed with three inputs. You can see the difference in driving when compared with the first model. For training both models, we used the imitation learning technique. We collected the input images and corresponding controls of our expert to create our data sets. After hours of training, we acquired the protocols that implement the driving in these two examples as you can see. We observe that the difference among the average results is 8.5%. The number of lane invasion is varied significantly due to semantic segmentation inputs. Also, the number of collisions is lower in 3 input fee due to depth inputs. To investigate the performance of our trained model on real-life images, we used a video taken from a camera that is placed on vehicle driving on a highway. We applied image processing on RGB images to again acquire the SS and monocular depth view. These three images combined are used as the input for the model and you can see the controls that the protocol is suggesting. Although the car couldn't stop when there was another vehicle in front of it, the steering predictions worked accurately. Model suggested turning actions when it is necessary.